Back again. I'm assuming you're not here for my pretty face. Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and Operation Lion Strike is now upon us. So those weapons that were showing up in game files previously actually have decided to come to the game, which every time something is leaked from Modern Warfare Remastered, just basically take it as gospel, it's going to be coming to the game at one point or another. So the new weapons we have available in the game are going to be the PKM Light Machine Gun, the MAC-10 Submachine Gun, and the D-25S Sniper Rifle. In the game files, this was called the DMR-25, but still, it's going to be a semi-automatic sniper, which is basically going to be like a marksman rifle. Now, unfortunately, these weapons are going to be somewhat expensive if you do not have a lot of parts like myself. I think to acquire the entire PKM, assuming, of course, you don't get lucky at all from supply drops that you open and get any of the prerequisite pieces here, it's going to cost you 4,195 parts to be able to craft the PKM. The MAC-10 is a little bit cheaper at 3,970 parts, and the D25S is going to be even cheaper than that at 3,925 parts to be able to craft together this sniper rifle. Now, personally, I don't really care too much about the D25. I honestly don't care too much about the PKM because I don't snipe a lot and I don't use light machine guns a lot, but I do want the MAC-10. And of course, we also have a couple of new melee weapons in here, which are incredibly expensive. Like, it's just straight up 3,600 parts to be able to craft this melee weapon, which doesn't even look all that great, at least in my opinion. Now, now the mechanic also not all that great but the samurai Pretty freaking cool samurai sword if you want that for your melee weapon. Of course, you can run around with it, and I imagine that looks pretty cool, but pretty expensive given how many parts are required to just have simply a melee weapon. So Operation Line Strike is actually going to have a lot of stuff going on with it. In fact, we are going to have three new weapons, three new melee weapons. In terms of weapon kits, 15 brand new weapon kits. We have Avalanche, we have Ultraviolet, we have Mastercraft, we have Chalk, we have Boss, we have Venom, we have Reactive, we have Kingpin. Reactive, I I think I showed you guys that very well. Reactive completely changes how a lot of these SMGs actually look, which is kind of interesting. They even put laser sights on some of them, which is weird because, of course, laser sight is not an attachment here in Modern Warfare Remastered. So just want to throw that out there, man. These things look really weird. We have Kingpin. We have Challenger, which reminds me a lot of the... Um what is that shotgun kit from the from Operation Arctic Wolf? It looks a lot like that, but for assault rifles, basically. They change up how they look, and they look weird, to be perfectly honest. Almost futuristic on some of them. Not sure if I'm a big fan. Kill shot snipe rifles. Not too bad looking, honestly. They remind me a bit of the Assassin ones, but a little bit different. War Torn. They had those, of course, I think for submachine guns in the last one. Am I right on that? I think it was SMGs. And now we have it for light machine guns, where basically they're going to have a bunch of duct tape. We have frag shotguns, which are basically the default shotguns, but covered in blood, which does not look too bad. We have Titanium LMGs, Noob Tuber. I'm not sure what they're going with, uh, what they're trying to go for with this one. It reminds me somewhat, I guess, of like the Bandit weapons, say from the Borderlands series because they have like all written on them and stuff like that with like arrows pointing to safety and triggers. So maybe it's like this is a newbie weapon. I, I don't know what the, quite they're going on about with this. I, I'm not entirely sure. And then K or Pig Pen, which is going to be basically muddy shotguns, which reminds me a lot of what your weapon looks like on certain maps when you are playing Battlefield 1. So those are all the new weapon kits. We have 68 new camos, and no, I'm not going to show you every single camo, but 68 new camos, 51 new reticles, we have 20 new characters, most of which are prere prerequisites, excuse me, to actually be able to unlock some of the weapons and other stuff. We have 20 new combat uniforms, again, some of them legendary as prerequisites. We have freaking 60 new calling cards and we have 68 new emblems tons and tons of stuff in here which kind of explains why raven software has been quiet for so long they were basically working on all of this it would appear and of course we have an event the shamrock and awe event and there's actually a trailer for that allow me to show you guys that trailer operation shamrock and awe is our first call of duty seasonal event of the year and it begins today a three-week-long St. Patrick's Day-themed event. For a limited time, you'll have free access to seasonal loot items, a themed map, and new character values. First up, Daybreak. The classic map Downpour transforms into a bright, lush danger zone. Next, we've got the Shalala Bounty. Slug it out with the Shalala Club and a Shamrock Blade. Finally, you can unlock the character Graves. If you collect all the Shamrock and Awe rewards before the event ends, he's yours. But if you don't, he's gone. 
For a limited time, you'll have access to three theme collections, character bounties, and one supply drop giveaway per week with more surprises to come. Operation Shamrock and Oz, available from March 14th through April 3rd. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. March 14th through April 3rd, we are going to have this event, and they did say the first event, so it would appear we are actually going to be getting multiple of these events throughout the entire lifespan of Modern Warfare Remastered. The first holiday event, of course, was Winter Crash, and now we are going to get Shamrock and Awe, which is going to bring with it some exclusive content that appears to be exclusive to the event itself. So Shamrock and Awe, we are going to have, for example, the ability to unlock Graves, who is the depot guy, as a playable character, of course, in the game. Game. We are going to have the Leprechaun melee weapon, which reminds me a lot of the stick that the Leprechaun would use in the, the horror movies, if you can call them that. If you never saw the Leprechaun movies, I would highly recommend them. They are hilarious. They are kind of similar to like old school, like Friday the 13th and Halloween movies and stuff like that with how they are done. But it, there's a lot of humor in there as well. We're talking about a Leprechaun that does a bunch of rhymes and stuff as he kills people. But uh, you have the Irish camo, which looks freaking awesome, but it's going to be an exclusive camo to this event. So I would assume... Once this event is over, this camo is also going to go away. The downside to that is it appears you can only unlock this camo via supply drop or crafting it with your parts as compared to completing challenges on the holiday map, which is something that I personally find to be pretty... Pretty annoying, honestly, but if you go back here, right, you go to the exclusive supply drop event, you go to here, it's going to give you two Lion Strike items and one Shamrock and Awe item, right? There are not too many Shamrock and Awe items currently in the game, so we have these six things right here, right, and then we have these six things right here, and then we have these, I suppose, seven things right there, so what's that, 19 total items, I would suppose, maybe 20 if you count unlocking this guy somehow via supply drop, so it doesn't appear like there's actually a lot of items in Shamrock and also perhaps it's not too hard to actually unlock that camo via supply drop but I personally don't know I would just personally like to see it actually be available via challenge right complete challenges while playing on the event map that actually gets people playing the event map it just makes more sense in my opinion so I don't know why exactly they've gone ahead and done that but yeah ladies and gentlemen that is pretty much all for this video they have updated the armory quite a bit I want to make you guys of course aware of that and yeah new operation we are going to have a special event operation. We're going to have more special events going forward in regards to different holidays, which definitely sounds pretty awesome. It kind of sets up that entire narrative of Modern Warfare Remastered becoming a multi-year Call of Duty game. And even if it's not a multi-year Call of Duty game, Halloween is definitely going to be happening before COD 2017, so we can definitely expect a Halloween event, which definitely sounds pretty awesome to me. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for another one where we will be going ahead and checking out the brand new version of Downpour, which has been completely reimagined as the map Daybreak, which is going to be a bright and beautiful Irish-themed map, which really looks pretty awesome, and I think it'd be awesome if every single time they have one of these holiday events, they revamp one of the maps. I have my fingers crossed for Halloween Overgrown. I really do, but something I want to end off the video here, ladies and gentlemen, is something that I just found out about. You actually do have two brand new camos that are actually tied to the Daybreak map itself, so if you actually want to see what they look like before you can actually acquire them, because they don't actually show up in the actual public match itself like they do show up as one of your potential camos but you can't see what they actually look like the camos are going to be folium as well as prism and similar to the winter crash event you have to complete challenges in fact pretty much the exact same challenges so to unlock folium for assault rifles you need to win 10 matches on daybreak and to unlock prism you need to go ahead and win 25 matches on daybreak swapping this over to submachine guns you need to go ahead and uh, call in 10 uavs on daybreak to get folium and you need to call in 30 UAVs to unlock Prism. Moving over to Sniper Rifles, which snipers look pretty freaking awesome. You need to kill 50 enemies on Daybreak to get that camo, and, and you need to kill 500 enemies on Daybreak to actually unlock Prism. Although I will say, Prism on the M4DA3, just a normal base M4DA3, looks pretty freaking awesome. Let's move on over here to Shotguns. So playing on Daybreak, you need to kill 10 enemies with frag grenades, and you need to kill 50 enemies with frag grenades. And here's the downside, guys. Here's the big downside. LMGs flash 25 enemies on Daybreak to unlock Folium and 100 enemies to unlock Prism. So it would appear the exact same challenges from the Winter Crash event 
flash grenades and all, which is freaking annoying, man. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be flashed 24-7. And then, of course, 10 melee kills for Folium, 50 melee kills for Prism on your pistols. Something I'm not too personally happy about. I mean, the melee challenges, sure, they're difficult, whatever. But flash grenades, oh, man, I'm so... I'm so over those. We're going to be seeing uh, Flash Times 3 like crazy in this playlist. But still, the map itself looks pretty freaking awesome. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Just kind of wanted to make sure everyone's up to speed. Everybody is caught up with what is happening here in Modern Warfare Remastered. And if you guys have the new weapons, at least have access to the new weapons, let me know down there in the comments how are they. Because as you guys can see, I am nowhere near being able to unlock any of them. The struggle, ladies and gentlemen, of somebody who refuses to purchase supply drops. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.